Okay, anybody, anybody else got lessons from a moment that didn't go so well? Okay, I think what doesn't go well these days is in the conversations, a lot of people have a tendency to reference um, certain statistics or certain articles online. And I found now that everybody's referencing stuff as fake news, so it's hard to use that as a source, a particular um, document or a particular particular survey in trying to justify your viewpoint or in terms of uh, telling somebody else they're wrong. So it takes more than just one source or one article or event that came out. So are you saying that everybody is using fake news or everybody says that as a response? It's the perception and that's easily, you could turn around if you use that and say, well, according to this survey or according to this article that came out, well, the, the counter-argument against it from somebody on the other side is automatically going to say, well, that's fake news because I could reference something that says something different. So we have so many divergent articles out from so many different sources, it's hard to reference a particular article in these days and times when you're having a conversation with somebody from the other side to use that as justification. So what do you do? Okay, so I got it. That's, that's really clear. What do you do instead to bring, instead of using kind of, uh, articles like that. What, what's the alternative? Well, then it goes to my alternative, my other two. Did you want to go to the positive? Go ahead, sure. And, and it's, there's two approaches. Either one approach is you have to ask them how they feel. What is their opinion about something? And how do they come to that opinion? What are they using for the sources or beliefs to come to that opinion? So if you put them on the spot and let them talk about it, I think it helps them to be able to realize how they've come up with their viewpoint on things and perhaps they've never had the chance to have that conversation before and think through it logically in a moment that somebody's asked them so they might reflect differently on it. That's the first point. And the second point is um, I would go ahead and state how I feel, personally how I feel, not uh, attacking them, but if I state how I feel and this is the reason why I feel, you can't attack somebody for the way they feel something about something and perhaps that provides some justification or provides some different insight into something. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Elliot. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Anybody else? Again, either category of lessons you've learned about what to do or what not to do.